Hello my darlings, hello my Aquarius ladies and gents. So I have a plant spirit card for you today for the month of February. You have got the Ten of Air, Alpha Alpha. Look at that scythe as well. Mm. Ten of Air. Mm. This would be uh, the same as the Ten of Swords in, uh, in the regular tarot. However, this doesn't look quite to be as doom and gloom as it might be because this is your month this is your month we're, we're not we're not <laughs> we're not taking anything so the ten of air alpha alpha compost your plants and allow new ideas to sprout breaking down leads to renewed fertility and let your studies lie fallow replenish and begin again the large field of alpha alpha thrives in abandoned in an abandoned lot a small ladybird munches on aphids tall watermelon trees grow over the lawn a scythe dangerously sticks into the air over the field of alpha alpha those floating scythes aquarius be wary of them be wary of them <laughs> renewal follows release you may have reached your limit this month mm -hmm. alpha alpha is planted to restore worn out degraded fallow land rest and replenish so your experience can take flight Take a break and spend some time in reflection to review, review and refresh your love of learning. Alpha Alpha is among the oldest of healing foods. You have the wisdom of the ancients with you. Sift through your knowledge and let go of the pieces that do not resonate. Do not be afraid to use a scythe on what you have grown. Alpha Alpha adds nutrients to the soil as it breaks down and what you are leaving behind enriches new growth some crafting ideas grow alpha alpha sprouts in a countertop jar eat them and wait for new ideas to sprout within i really like alpha alpha in salad i've got to say it's delicious uh, plant a garden of renewal journal about what is broken down in your life plant your pages in a small pot beneath the seeds of a nourishing herb enjoy tea from this plant as it grows isn't that a lovely idea i like that a lot use alpha alpha in magical practice for good fortune prosperity or to encourage recuperation so it's a lovely take on the ten of swords actually aquarius you don't need to fear this card um i thought it was really pretty and then i realized which one it was and i was like oh <laughs> uh, but this doesn't feel like a down and out moment this to me feels like you've already had your down and out moment sometimes in january and this is an advice about what to do with it this is about clearing away the energetic funk which has been holding you back have you been feeling stuck in a holding pattern aquarius have you been feeling chained down tethered tied bored in this slump of funky negative energy what does that say so we're looking at clearing it out, clearing it out, refreshing, and really bringing in fresh air. And that you know, has that vibe to it as well. Like the old air is stagnant. It's time to sweep that away. Nice cleansing rituals for you when you're connecting with this particular plant spirit for the month, my darlings. Uh, you really are looking at two actions here, two major actions. The first is allowing yourself a period of rest and relaxation have you not been allowing yourself to breathe because this is all about air this is all about the realm of the mind this is all about taking deep breaths this is all about how you your thought process has been getting in the way of, of late this is all the ways you've been beating yourself up this is how you've not allowed yourself to be creative and maybe you've got stuck in a bit of a rut so a need for a learning experience like a new creative project that seems to make a whole lot of sense to me with this card. Uh, it has that energy of really like bringing in renewal. Um, and like the scythe says, we're just, we're clearing away that which no longer serves us because it's not good for us. It's not good for you, Aquarius. You need that creative, funky energy to just bring a little jazz into your life and really feel stoked to get up in the morning again um, and whatever that learning is it's going to be something which is going to serve you long term this being in the realm of the mind feels to me 
like so far this plant plant spirit is very much like we need to get your head straight before we can like address the rest of it right it it may be that you have seen things sort of not falling apart but not going the way that you want them here and it's to do with the, this space within you first and foremost there is a need to shift away from those old thought patterns are you allowing yourself downtime are you allowing yourself to rest or are you go 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 and if there's anything left go some more that's not going to be healing you that's not going to be helping you so there is an opportunity here as well to connect to the ancients connect to the land connect to your ancestors if you haven't been doing that when we feel energetically low and we can't carry on ourselves, sometimes the spirits in the spiritual ecosystem are what assist us in the journey of carrying on. Um, I have it that my grandmother turn, turns up um, and assists me in that process. And, you know, if I need it, they all stand around me and protect me and fill me with healing energy. And you can call on that as well. You can call on that within the earth. And the earth energy here really does seem to balance out the overabundance of air energy, especially uh, if you're feeling quite negative um, in your headspace about what's been going on in your life and, and your place in it. So if you need to bring a little of that earth energy in and you need to like deeply ground because the earth feels fallow and it doesn't feel full of nourishing nutrient rich goodies that might be your home life doesn't feel that way and you don't feel grounded and safe and happy and content you probably feel a bit bored and fed up and at the end of your tether with certain individuals in your life so if that is the case we're gonna need to replow that earth we're gonna <laughs> giggity um we're gonna look, need to look at what we are getting on board with when it comes to how we allow ourselves to be treated or talked about uh, we need to have the conversations that we don't necessarily want to have now we don't have to be completely doom and gloom about it either um, you know the ten of swords can sometimes in tarot feel completely gloomy um, but it it is that kind of low ebb before the rise so it definitely has that kind of phoenix moment implied within it um, that, you know, things have been feeling like they're wearing you out, that they've been grinding you down. And something in this energy for the Aquarians out there, I think, is going to be for some of you that you're just at the end of your tether with it. You just need to, like, throw it all out and start over, um, especially when it comes to mental exercises, the way that you're com being communicated with, as well as the way you're communicating with certain individuals in your life, needs to undergo a massive shift here so connect to the spirit of this plant this month see what you can do about it watch out for flying uh, scythes without any keepers <laughs> terrifying uh, and have a good month aquarius many blessings